Cheek puff, very nice. Beautiful lip roll and funnel. Reillusion got me like Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Keeping on the Reillusion train I've had going on recently, today I wanted to talk about their other new piece of software coming very soon. Character Creator 4. In my last video, I talked about iClone 8, which takes care of the animation side of things. But if you're like me, you may be wondering, well, I don't have anything cool to animate. Enter Character Creator 4. In this program, you can very quickly build your own customized, realistic, or stylized character. It works seamlessly with iClone, with all the rigging and weighting transferring over perfectly, which makes putting together a fully modeled, textured, and animated character with this software super easy. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the new features it has to offer. Okay, so the first new feature is Scalable Expression Editing. This feature gives you a facial profile editor, which offers two levels, basic and extended. In the basic profile, you have 60 blend shapes available for use, which give you a great amount of flexibility in configuring custom expressions. This amount is typical amongst most facial motion capture programs, which have about 50 to 60 blend shapes. So for compatibility's sake, this is great in the event you need to switch to another program. To make things even easier though, so you don't have to switch programs at all, Reillusion has its own facial motion capture software, Live Face, which supports the standard 52 blend shapes found in the AR Kit plugin. Reillusion has really taken it to the next level though with their new extended profile. Here you have an absolutely mind blowing 140 blend shapes available to tap into. The level of detail here is insane as you can see. The granularity and control you have over every part of the face is second to none. This ultimately means that you can do more detailed expressions right in CC4 without having to export to another program. In terms of use, it is incredibly easy to use. You can either select the part of the face you want to adjust on the left hand side here, and you'll be presented with a number of different morph sliders to fine tune the look you're going for, or you can make use of the edit face map and select parts of the face and move and rotate things around with your mouse. This is a really intuitive way to sort of pull things around and shape the expression in the viewport. Almost gives me like a pseudo sculpting brush energy, which is pretty neat. It's compatible with software that supports the AR kit plugin, so you can link it up to your phone or camera and do live facial tracking like this, which is awesome. Here you can really see the power of the extended profile with this side-by-side -side comparison with the basic. The basic looks pretty good, but then you see the extended version and the nuance and layers of animation you can get, and it's truly an impressive thing that they've done here. You can layer in things like the dilation of the nostrils, compression of the brow, rolling of the lips, and a super subtle thing I love when I notice it, the tightening and flexing of the neck and throat and you can quickly switch between the basic and extended profile, upgrading or downgrading as it fits your use case best. Just as a side note as well, this character that you see here does in fact ship with CC4 as standard content. So that means you can jump in and start working with a top tier professional level model right away. And the second big feature I wanted to talk about today is the Smart Skin Shader. This gives you the ability to quickly adjust the color and other characteristics of your character's skin super easily by playing with the sliders here. You can also adjust the facial structure very easily as well. There are some presets loaded in that allow you to adjust this by way of morph slider, as you can see. You could then go into the more detailed sliders here to further fine tune the look even more and make the model more your own. So with just a few quick adjustments on these sliders, you can see how easy it is to create a multitude of different characters of different ethnicities, all while keeping the same rigging and animation data. Here you can see that you can change the color of the skin without affecting other parts of the character, such as scales. There are options to adjust the intensity of things like freckles, moles, and other skin characteristics very easily like this. Also works very nicely with things like face paint, as you can see here. I think this is really neat. Through the use of the Headshot plugin, you have the ability to project the image of any person's face onto the head of any model. And then with the smart skin shader, you can adjust the rest of the head and body to match the tone of the new projected image. This opens up a lot of doors to creating a lot of different characters very quickly, or if you're trying to capture someone's likeness. So the smart skin shader works on the shader level, meaning once you have finished with the fine tuning of your skin, you can then bake new texture maps for export to other programs. This means you can use these beautiful skin textures in a program like Blender by simply loading them into the image node in the shader editor and linking it up with your principal VSDF. So that's it for this one. I hope that showed you guys that with CC4, you can make realistic characters easier and faster than ever before. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped. And we'll see you in the next one.